Hello my little butterflies and this video is going to be my top 5 Wednesday video. The topic for this top 5 Wednesday is badass characters and when I saw that I definitely have to do it. So I'm going to start from the bottom and work my way up and all of these characters and all of these books are just amazing books. So it was really hard to pick a, a number 5 and it came down to the most recent that I've read. And that is why my number five is number five because otherwise she would not be number five. And the person that I picked for number five is Alice from the Twilight Saga. So yeah, you guys know I'm a Twilight. And if she was, if Twilight would have been the most re recent book that I've read, Alice would not be on the bottom. But it just came hard to pick who I wanted at the top and who I wanted at the bottom. So that's what it was down to. And Alice is a badass character because. Yeah, she's really sweet and she's approachable and she's just like such a nice girl. But she will rip your head off if you mess with her family. And that's what makes her so bad because it's underneath is what you have to worry about. Yeah, you get all the pleasantness on the outside, but on the inside, she'll kill you. She'll rip your throat out. We all saw that. It's especially on Burgundine Part 2 when Jasper just happened to go bye-bye and Alice was not playing it. So yeah. Number four is Arista from Tangle Web. And I read this book in November, I want to say. And she was just an amazing character just because she was just so strong because she had such a terrible childhood. She had a terrible adolescent time and she just had a bad life. She was in a bad situation. She was treated like crap by her boss or whatever you want to call him, both of them. And she was just taken advantage of, but you know what? That didn't stop her. She wasn't closed off completely to the idea of having a good life. She fought for her right to have a good life. And I mean, that's what makes her badass to me because look at the market she was in. She was in a black male market as a female and not just any female, but a teenage female. So you have to be a badass to be able to people not to be able to take advantage of you and try to kill you. So that's why Arisa is badass all day, right there. My number three is Myra from Snow Like Ashes. And I just finished this book in January and it was awesome. And Myra is a badass physically and mentally. Just because she didn't know anything about her past life because of what had happened. So she didn't know her parents and she just traveling with the refugees and she was small and that's all she could remember. So she had to be strong to, to not give up and especially how many times she was shut down. She was very strong will. She never gave up. She still pushed and pushed and pushed to show that she can do it, that she was good enough. She persevered and she had to be strongly built mind wise just because she would have to deal with past stuff that she knew nothing about as well as future stuff that she was unsure of. So she was really strong and she can kick anybody's ass. So she's physically strong too, but she was mostly to me mentally strong and that's what made her stand out as a badass because to deal with that kind of life and for you to still be all screwed up up here is amazing work in itself. My number two is Laya from An Ember in the Ashes. And she is a badass because she went through so much stuff and she was just ready to break at every at every turn. She was just ready to give up and she prep talked herself to be like, no, we have to do this for this. She went through hell and high water just to be able to save her brother, her only family that she had left. She went through just so much abuse physically. She was mentally torn down and she just, she just lost, she had lost everyone to start off with and I just liked how she took control of her life and she said I'm not gonna let this happen the last family I had I would not let them go and I just that's why she's badass because no one imagined her not even herself imagined her being able to do the things she did and pull off the stuff she did and for her to still be alive is just amazing and even, that's like a miracle and even the characters in the book think that's a miracle that she's even still living number one is just i'm 
I'm pretty sure you guys know what our number one is. So, I mean, it shouldn't be a surprise. It is Mare from Red Queen. And everyone knows Mare is a badass. You know, she is really sarcastic. And even though she's in the position that she's in, she's like, I'm going to still do things my way. Even though you might can kill me today, but hey, I'll take you down with me. And that's what I love about her because she stood up for what she believed in. You know, she, she didn't want her people to be taken advantage of. She wanted to save people. She wanted to get rid of these evil people fuckers that are supposed to be ruling everyone like they're better than them and she took the initiative to say well i'm gonna show them who's better and i love that about mare just so much and like i say she reminds me of storm the x-men and storm is like my favorite superhero ever if i can have her powers i would and both of them are badass characters it's almost like mare is based off of her when you look at it it's almost like that that's what it seems like to me and i have no problem with that that's amazing i mean mare was uprooted from her family to to live with that this evil freaking queen and evangeline and i don't even i hate even saying her name but she still stood up on her own two feet and took charge for what she needed to take charge for them. So these are just badass characters and I'm just so happy that I was able to do a top five Wednesday like this because I was hoping that I got one like this. And I just, this has to be my favorite top five Wednesday since I started doing top five Wednesdays. Just to sit here and elaborate on the badass characters and why they're badass. And I'm happy that I was able to pick all females also because a lot, I, I, it's not even a female thing. It's just a lot of times you don't really pick females as being badasses. It's always a male. And so yeah. Shout out to my females. So you guys, that's all for my top five going today. And I will see you guys later on my next video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you later. Bye.